Let's check in with meteorologist Bree Guy. Bree, we are in for a treat because we have some rain chances in the in the forecast for the near future. Yeah, right. It's a mm -hmm. treat here. It is a treat. We need it <laughs> in obviously. the desert. We're like, yes, we're gonna get some rain. <laughs> <laughs> High pressure is responsible here for that monsoon moisture flowing into the valley off of this clockwise rotation. We're still going to be able to tap into that monsoon moisture there down in the Pacific. Now, right now, clouds and radar, we are seeing a few isolated pop up showers there, especially through parts of eastern Mojave County, and that is increasing cloud cover there. But even over these next few hours, some of these showers could inch a little bit more westward there, right towards the Las Vegas Valley, not ruling out a stray shower. Most of that will be in the form of cloud cover, though. Wind speeds now still coming in pretty strong here from our southwest. Las Vegas at 11 miles per hour, Boulder City at 22, Laughlin at 11, and Indian Springs at 14. Now, here's the setup. Again, monsoon is really going to be the big story here over these next few days. So this monsoon will flow. These are going to continue to be the best chances for heavier rain right through the four corners and then even us on the back end, especially along the Colorado River Valley. Current alerts, we do have this flash flood watch in effect here for Mojave County, including the Kingman area, and that's going to go in effect later tonight, and it's not going to expire until late Tuesday. So there we are expecting some on and off again, heavier showers tracking this out in future cast, though this is Monday morning. So on your way out the door, temperatures a little cooler in the upper 70s, low 80s there for the most part. But again, we could see a few isolated showers sneak up in there, especially there earlier on in the day. Again, some heavier rain at times. It is going to be mostly scattered, not very uniform. Those clouds, again, are going to continue to stay stocked into that region there. And again, some heavier rain possible, especially um, throughout the peak evening and afternoon hours. Right now, live look outside. Temperatures, though, we're in the 100s, so we're kind of used to this. It's a little cooler actually here today than what we were a few days ago. But this intense heat that we've been talking about continues to expand eastward here. This high pressure moves over the central United States here throughout the day today, and that widespread heat is bringing heat advisories to plenty of people in areas. High tomorrow, we're going to be reaching the low 100. So a little cool off for us, but feeling that humidity as dew points are going to be resting in the mid 50s. We're going to be able to feel that, especially along the Colorado River Valley Monday, Tuesday. Windy, those chances ramp up there for thunderstorms Wednesday 102, Thursday 103, but we're staying pretty steady even through the weekend.